Hi everyone, again with the angular displacement, but today we are going to solve problems about the angular displacement. Let's remember the formulas we are going to use. Delta theta, which is the angular displacement, equals theta final, the final angle, minus theta initial, the initial angle, or the final angular position and initial angular position. Okay, it should be in radians. If you have it in degrees, you can use the following formula to switch between degrees and radians. So the angle in degrees divided by 180 equals the angle in radians divided by 1 pi. So 180 equals 1 pi and so on. So if you have the angle in degrees, you can put it here and find the angle in radians. If you have the angle in radians and you are looking for the angle in degrees, so you put the number or plug in the number in here and uh, by simple math you can find the theta in degree. Finally, if we are looking for the distance covered by a point on a rotating object, which is delta x, this equals r, the radius, times delta theta, the angular displacement in radians. What is the angular displacement of each of the following hands of a clock in one hour? State your answer in three significant digits. So during one hour we are looking for the angular displacement done by these three hands. The second hand, the minute hand, and the hour hand. So let's start with the minute hand because we know during one hour the minute hand rotates one complete cycle or one complete rotation. It starts here and then come back to 12 again. For the minute hand, one rotation stands for one hour. And this is one what we are looking for. So its angular displacement is one rotation, which is two pi red. And remember it's clockwise, of course, which is negative. So we need to add negative for the direction. In this case, we are going to simplify it and write 2 times 3.14, which is going to be 6.28 red. In negative, of course. Okay, so in negative, 6.28 uh, red. For second hand, we know that one rotation of a second hand, it rotates like this, when it completes one rotation, equals one minute. But in one hour, we have 60 minutes. So delta theta equals 60 rotations, which means 60 times 2 pi in negative, because it's clockwise. And then this equals negative 377 right. For the hour end, we know that one rotation, when it makes one rotation, means 12 hours. So divide this part by 12, it gives you one hour. And divide the number of rotation, one over 12 over rotation. Okay, so our displ displacement, the angular displacement of the hour hand equals 1 over 12 over rotation, which is 1 over 12 times 2 pi, and of course it's negative. This equals negative pi over 6, which is negative 0 0.524 red. And all our solution is in three significant digits, three digits, three digits, and three digits. A steering wheel is rotated through 128 degrees. So the angle we have is 128 degrees. As shown below, its radius is 22 centimeters. So the radius equals 22 centimeters, or we can convert it into meters by dividing uh, 22 by 100 equals 0 0.22 meters. Uh, how far would a point on a steering wheel's edge move? So we are looking for uh, delta x, the unknown of this equation. Easy. The formula we are going to use will be delta x equals r 
times delta theta okay but the problem is theta is in degrees okay so here you know that theta in radians divided by 1 pi red equals theta in degrees divided by 180 degrees in this case theta and radians equals theta and degrees times pi divided by 180 degrees so I can put delta theta as this 128 degrees times pi divided by 180 degrees this is time r which is 0 0.22 so the distance equals 0 0.491 meters if you want to take a quiz about this topic uh, visit our website the link is in the description thank you